Today we are talking about ChatGPT, a super cool language model developed by OpenAI that is just changing the game. And together we are going to explore the incredible capabilities of ChatGPT. I will show you 33 prompts in this video to demonstrate just how powerful ChatGPT can be. If you think you already know, well you don't. And who am I to say I am of course know it all from YouTube that will give you a life advice. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But on a serious note, I do have way over 10,000 hours of experience in online marketing and business. And I do understand that the world has changed and you need to understand that too. And I will show you how ChatGPT can write you a homework instantly at specific level of knowledge or create incredible stories for kids where they are the part of a story that is designed to teach them a specific life lessons or how to make amazing results with complex, highly specific ChatGPT prompts that will exceed most of the experts at specific tasks. Let me just do a quick explanation of what ChatGPT is. ChatGPT is a language model developed by OpenAI that is AI powered tool that can generate human like text based on the input provided to it. Answer questions, summarize long pieces of text, write creative content and much more. The reason it can do that is that it was trained on a data set of over 40 gigabytes of data. This data set includes a diverse range of the text such as articles, books, websites and to this date it is the largest most advanced language model with over 175 billion parameters. The technology behind ChatGPT is based on deep learning algorithms. So imagine that instead of a training a child how to speak with the limited interactions and conversations between the child and the mother, ChatGPT has unlimited access to conversations that has ever been written on the internet. So in a nutshell, ChatGPT is a powerful language model that helps it to understand how people write, think and speak, which also allows it to understand the context of a given task. And that's why ChatGPT is something bigger than just the text generating app as we know to this date. And now let's get to the point, the 33 useful prompts that you can use today, 100% free, no email, nothing. You can download the whole list of ChatGPT prompts at the end of the video or simply go to my Twitter and get it there. Number one, creating a mind map. Let's start with the first ChatGPT use. This is the prompt that I personally came up with. It has multiple steps. I'm asking to create a mind map. In this case, should I drop out of college? Because many gurus online are saying that's what we should do. So obviously that's what I'm asking. I want it to be visual so I wouldn't be bored to death. But also I would like to add some facts and statistics and I want to make it short because it's mind map. Let's say you are standing in front of a decision so I don't really want a mind map, I want more it as a decision tree. So what you can do is you can ask for it, can you improve it into the decision tree and that's what the ChatGPT will do for you. Then if you want to go deeper on a specific subject just tell ChatGPT to expand the decision point, for example expand the decision point four and then you insert the point of the topic and that will help you sort out your thoughts. Number two, fact checking text. This is my absolute favorite prompt. The reason why it's my favorite is it's so simple and so powerful. All you have to do is write this. Please fact check the following text. And after this prompt, I just insert the text. I want to get fact checked. As this example, fortune cookies are being handed out in many Westerns based Chinese restaurants at the end of the meal these days because the fortune cookies are from China. In today's world, you literally cannot live without this feature. And in this example, we will find out that the fortune cookies are actually served in a Chinese US based restaurants, but they are from Japan and they are not really served in traditional Chinese restaurants. You can also do a variations of this prompt, such as you can act as a lawyer and fact check the following text. And this way you can narrow ChatGPT focus. Other examples would be like act as a journalist, a scientist, politician, health professional, historian, data analyst, you know, etc. Speaking of lawyers, we are getting to number three, free law services. While I don't recommend it, we can ask ChatGPT for unknown laws or restrictions and not just in the US, but in other countries. Chances are that ChatGPT knows it better than we do. If I would ask, is it legal to be shirtless in Dubai. We will find out that it's actually illegal to be shirtless with some exceptions. And you know, this is not the best legal advice, but we can expect that in the near future, it will just get better and better. And JGPT can also write you a template 
for a legal document. So write us a law non-disclosure agreement draft between me and Mr. Beast about marketing services provided. In case they will speak of it, charge them $1 in perpetuity. And there you go. Of course, this is not ready to go, but you get my point. Number four, modern education of kids. I honestly don't know how we were raised before ChatGPT. If you have a kid at the age of when they ask why on anything you ever say, sometimes they can give you really tough questions and you are looking for an answer. If kid is asking you how babies are born, well, here's an example. Explain to a five-year-old kid how babies are born. In this example, we are using the kid's age to actually determine the audience in order to get response at a specific conversational level. In another example, if you would have a dumb colleague, you might want to use something like this. So explain how to use a coffee machine like I'm five. But let's get back to kids. ChatGPT can be used as a powerful educational tool. Not only it knows the facts, but it can also wrap them up uh, in an entertaining way. So in this example, we will impersonate a kid's name in the story. We'll write a lullaby about the children's name Amy. But if you want to step up the game, the prompt would look something like this. We would make a long story based on the Harry Potter books, and this story should introduce the choices between stealing and returning a found item. And the outcome should be educational. And I know, I know, it's your kid. You should be the one educating them, not some AI robot. But hey, you can try it out. Kids will lighten up if they hear their name in their favorite world. Let's just chat GPT, help you out and kick it off. At some point, you will be able to carry on with the story and with your own ideas. Number five, create content like an expert. There is some more complicated prompt for SEO friendly text generation if you want to outrank your competitors. You simply use this prompt and insert the page you want to outrank and it will spit you a fully marked down article like this. But let me warn you right there. I'm a PPC and SEO expert and I'm studying GPT for SEO use for already a few weeks. If you want to apply certain workarounds, you might achieve a short term results, but over a long term, Google will most certainly punish you from generating your text by AI. If you want to know more, we can have some one on one since I'm an open consultant for performance marketing, but just don't copy paste it. Here is another example of mind blowing use case for keyword strategy like this. But again, pros wouldn't use this. It looks good. It can serve a beginner purposes, but SEO pro would never get satisfied with such a basic output. And at this point, you might be asking, where are all these technical prompts from? While I made some of them, others also comes from this plugin in Chrome. And I remember I joined when this had like 10,000 users. Now, as you can see, it has 200,000 community that is sharing their prompts together. And it's a really good tool. There are also many prompts for titles, FAQs and descriptions. So definitely check that out. Number six, doing homework or assessments in the seconds. Homework is the obvious thing ChatGPT can do for you. But what's cool about it is when you have it done in a specific skill level. These are the examples. In this example, you can act as an eighth grade student. This way you are going to perform the task at expected level not above it. And if your laziness is at your highest level, you can also let your 3D printer write the homework for you as someone has done on a TikTok. We are living in a crazy world. Number seven, work around stressful and unpleasant tasks. You can avoid unpleasant tasks in your daily work this way. You can write a professional and diplomatic customer service email responding to a complaint. This way you can use the diplomatic and professional skills on the internet to actually take care of itself. It's somehow like to turn its own weapon against it, I guess. Number eight, repetitive tasks. Are you looking for a job? There's no problem. If you ever try to write a cover letter, you know the pain. Some of the companies don't even bother to respond to them. So why would you bother? Here is a prompt for that. You can write an effective cover letter for a job application for the company described below, and then you just copy paste the company history. You need to only get the company history. Here is an example of how simple and easy it is if the company has history page or Wikipedia, for example. So you just simply insert a nerd wallet history and there you have it. 
sometimes the company won't have Wikipedia. So what you need to search on their website is the about page. And then in 10 seconds, you have it done. Now I promise you it's worth staying for this next use case. Number eight, creative work. This use case is the true manifest of amazing AI capabilities. Let's try this. Using the emotional value proposition framework, please write a marketing campaign that blah, 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 blah. That's probably what you just heard. And you don't need to hear the whole prompt. In this example, I'm simply asking to make a marketing campaign overview for a tired mothers to promote refreshing drink. And here is what ChatGPT came up with that just blew my mind. I'm not sure if I'm able to recreate the answer, but what ChatGPT wrote in one of the sentences of the mother's testimonials that the drink was, and I quote now, a mini holiday in the bottle. I heard it and I immediately went to the Google search if this phrase has been used somewhere ever. It was not. And this is a most likely a unique sentence that haven't been used ever before. So when I heard it, I got a little bit scared. For any fellow marketers or creative agencies, their jobs are at serious risk. That's all I have to say. I leave it up, up to you how world changing this is, how completely new projects, new ideas and approaches can be achieved by simply chatting with the robot. Unfortunately, there is not enough time to go through all 33 prompts. So you can download all the prompts from this video. And there are also many more that haven't been mentioned in this video. Simply message me on a Twitter and I will send you the link or just get the link down below. And you will make my day if you subscribe. More content is coming. I will most likely keep the ChatGPT list prompts updated but I might also do a new video on it because this is really exciting. And that's it. Appreciate your time. Have a good one.